Now in this final last section I'm going to add a few more details to the branches, the chimney pots and adjust some of the tones and edges uh, that I feel I haven't got quite right. I try not to paint anything twice until I've got virtually everything else painted once. I'm then in a better position to judge the areas uh, which do need attention and perhaps the areas which I can leave and get away with. Now we'll start at the top, we'll just do these chimney pots first. Um, and then we'll put a little bit of dark with thicker paint almost straight out the tube on the right hand side a bit of coat bit of cobalt and uh, cerulean there and um, let's get some of these branches in um, Now I haven't really got the side of this dark enough so I'm going to just go down here and darken that and then with a damp brush just soften the edge. So I'm little um, branches here Sort of just add to the um, the liveliness of it. Then we've got these branches coming up. The other adjustment I'm going to make is I don't think I got the shaded side of these quite dark enough. If you remember that was one of the first things I did and it's always difficult to to get those elements right first the first ones you, you're put off by all of the white paper that tends to make everything look darker than it really is. Um, so a little bit of overpainting there, essentially. Um, but if it's, I've, I always think that if you if you do it for a good painterly reason, you know, you're adjusting a tone or softening an edge or hardening an edge, it seems to enhance the picture, doesn't detract from it. But if you go back just for the sake of tidying it up, straightening out an edge or um, a wobbly edge, you smooth everything out and you you miss all the, take out all the guts of the picture. Um, all of this of course makes the can make the picture look a little bit more untidy and lived in. Um, just, this picket fence is sort of worrying me a bit. I'm, I think what I'll do is I'll just put a little bit of a shadow across it there. Because it's a change. I've, I've made it into a white picket fence when it was dark. Um, just one or two little shadows, bluish sort of shadow come across here. Keep that nice and blue. 
fill up some of this area here. Cadmium yellow and cadmium lemon, those together, they're fairly opaque, so you can actually lighten. Put a bit of viridian with it, just see if it will work. To pick out some of the the um, shiny light leaves of the ivy going up this tree that are just catching the light. Same over here. And the other thing I'm going to do is really make a, th a th nice rich dark green, Windsor blue and um, some cadmium lemon and burnt sienna. That's, this is going to be really almost thick, real thick area of paint just to darken You had to do this sort of overpainting. It's very important that it joins on to the rest of the picture. Keep stepping back at this stage. Rub it in with your finger just to join it on. Um, Few um, twigs and things going up here. And I'll also scratch some of these out actually, I think. I'm just going to invent a little shadow across here to help indicate the, the direction of the light. And then finally, with my little sharp knife, scratch one or two branches out focus on areas where you can get them against the dark and that gives you a nice sort of layering effect. I think we'll stop there. Well, I hope you found that useful watching me um, do this scene. It's probably not the sort of subject that you um, would tackle if you're a beginner, um, but it's far more interesting and more fun to paint than just a cottage on the horizon with a few trees. And frankly, is a lot more, it is a lot easier than you think. Um, 
if you go about it in the right way and essentially all I've done is painted each area once and had to put up with whatever mark I've made despite the errors and I haven't changed anything and fiddled about with it probably until those last few moments um, when I'm trying to in a sense untidy up the page the picture make it look a little bit more lived in um, to get a sense of the tangled uh, foliage um, of this cottage um, or tangled foliage in front of this cottage. Well thanks for watching. Thank you.